Hi, good afternoon, Maxine. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How is everything? Everything is well. So I'm just going to ask you the 13 questions for Icon and you know the drill. Okay, let's go. So what's your favorite podcast channel? Mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but apart from mine, I'll go with the Joyride podcast. Lovely. What's the most treasured thing you own? Hmm, that's, that's a difficult one. If I have to pick just one thing, I'll pick I'll pick booty, booty my car. Oh nice. Yeah. <laughs> what skill do you have to did you have to learn on content creation that you still up to date? Um I think editing. Editing for sure. Editing. Yeah. Good. What's the coolest thing about being a content creator? Definitely meeting different people from all over the world. Network. What's your favorite stamp on your passport? Uh, Gili Trawangan. It is a tiny island in Indonesia. Lovely. What's your best habit? Saving. What's your worst habit? Procrastination. Maxine, what's your mandatory breakfast? Fruits. Definitely a bowl of fruits. What are three, wo- three words to describe when living in Nairobi? Character development, <laughs> sherehe, and suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. If you're a hip-hop star, what will be your stage name? Wababes. Wababes. Lovely. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant in Nairobi? Misono. Japanese, I see. Yes. Yeah. How would you define a role model? Um, someone who you look up to, someone who inspires you. And who's your role model, Maxine? Lily Singh, aka Superwoman. Lovely. What's your favorite piece from the Icon Collection? The dresses, specifically the new shirt dresses you guys have. And what do you love most about the brand Icon? I love that the piece, pieces are, are really unique and the prints as well. You guys come through when it comes to prints and colors. Finally, Maxine, how would you describe an iconic woman? An iconic woman is a person who is unapologetically herself. And do you think you're one? For sure. (laughs) (laughs) Lovely. That was all with us. Bye. It was nice having you. Bye-bye.